What really occurred during Operation High Jump and the Allies' expedition to the South Pole? In 1946, right after the end of World War II, the Allied forces sent an incredibly massive expedition to Antarctica. Led by U.S. Admiral Byrd and others, this military invasion is still referred to as a scientific expedition by the mainstream media in our history books. If it was purely scientific, then why on earth would they go with three massive naval warships, 33 aircraft, nearly 5,000 troops? I don't know about you, but to me this seems more like a cover-up. Only reason to go there with that massive of an armada is if they knew that they would encounter something. Reports from Navy pilots there said they encountered things like anti-gravity craft and Foo Fighters, which were literally flying saucers in these strange balls of light. They say this was caused by a collision with another ship, but that's obviously another cover-up. In a press interview in Argentina, Admiral Byrd said the following. That the next world war could be with an adversary that comes from the polar regions and has the ability to fly unobstructed from pole to pole. Obviously referring to the anti-gravity craft. Many speculate these are actually from a foreign power, not from an alien source. As many CIA whistleblowers claim that the Germans established an Antarctic colony at the South Pole. This man James Forrestal, the US Secretary of Defense, was the one who planned this covert expedition. Admiral Byrd reported to him everything that happened wanted to go public about the UFOs they encountered in the German Antarctic bases. But as you see here, this happened. It appeared to me that the Rockefeller Foundation paid $140,000 for the exclusive right of the public report of what occurred during World War II, meaning they could conceal from the public anything that occurred during this scientific expedition to Antarctica. The last video I made about this got taken down, so I obviously can't say everything I said before. I'll be making a very long YouTube video about all of this. So subscribe to my YouTube and be on the lookout for a full video there.